So when you take islets and you transplant them to the liver, it's a foreign environment to the islets. Uh, one, they're in an environment that they're not normally supposed to be in. They're in the liver. Um, the liver, they're also in direct contact with blood, which is very, um, it, it causes significant inflammation because islets are not supposed to be in direct contact with blood. You also have high drug levels there because the liver metabolizes most of the agents that come into the body. So there can be high toxicity, byproducts of, of the drug degradation, and just higher levels of drug overall. The other is the mechanical stress on the islets. It can be pretty significant because you're basically just injecting them and then they lodge downstream where they just get stuck. And we're looking at several different sites. All, are, um, all three are clinically relevant sites that are of great interest to us. One is the subcutaneous site, uh, the other is the intramuscular site, and the third is the amental uh, the omentum or the omental pouch site. Um, all of these can be easily accessed and they all have different advantages and disadvantages. Um, the subcutaneous being the highest advantage in terms of a minimally invasive surgery, but also it's one of the most inflammatory sites, which you can expect, you know, your skin is really the first barrier um, uh, to any sort of um, injury and so it is a highly inflammatory site so that becomes very challenging. The intramuscular site is a highly vascularized site but also it's a very active site um, so there's challenges associated with that and then the amental pouch um, or the amentum which is a very richly vascularized site and that's really where we focused a lot of our major studies on that in, in the amentum because we found such promising results with that site.